Twitter, for me, helps me run my business in a way that I never could if I didn't have social media and if I wasn't on Twitter. For instance, like he's saying, one night uh, at an event, our production guys forgot to, to do these, they're called camera kills. You know, if you have a camera situated, you know, somewhere in the arena, you have to kill a bunch of the seats around them that people can't see. So there were like 35 seats that were behind the camera. Somebody tweeted it to me. Instantly, we got somebody up there. We moved these 35 people and got it taken care of, which that would have been a disaster on Monday had I not known. You know, you'd have found that out Monday that you had 35 pissed off fans and yeah. they flew out, they bought hotels and they were sitting in these bad seats. That situations where the cable is down in Indiana. We get on the phone with the cable companies. I mean, all these things that go wrong that night, I can fix them like that because of Twitter. We do these things, a couple of fights that we start off with in the night are called Facebook fights. And we actually stream the fights live to, throughout the world on Facebook. Um, and we're literally talking and, and, and getting people uh, engaged in, in, in the fights that night. I talked to celebrities that are you know, UFC fans and they're talking about the fight. It's just, uh, it's, it's amazing. But, but the thing is with me is that it's fun because I'm a fight fan at the end of the day and I, I actually have the ability now to talk to millions of other fight fans. You know, back in my day, you know, you guys got to understand, I grew up in, a, in an age when I had Channel 3, Channel 5, Channel 8, and Channel 13, okay? Now, if you wanted to see your favorite TV show, your ass better be home at 8 o'clock to watch that show on TV. There's no DVR. It wasn't even VCR. You couldn't record it. You missed it, you know? Right. And if somebody was going to call you, you had to be home and answer the call. There was no answering machines or cell phones or any of this stuff. So now to live in a world where, you know, when, when you're such a huge fight fan, you can literally, you have millions of other people that are fans right at your fingertips. It's awesome. It's amazing. Right. One of the things that I, that I try not to do, um, you know, you ever follow these people on Twitter and every tweet is an ad? They're selling something? That drives me crazy, man. I, I unfollow. The Kardashians are the worst, you know? The, I mean, for a while there, everything they sent out was an ad to sell something for yeah. somebody. And I really don't do that. I don't, I don't ever do it. You do, you've probably, been approached. You've probably I, been approached. I battle. I get approached by my sponsorship team every five minutes. Yeah. You know, they're always asking. I, I say no. I'm not tweeting that. I, I just I refuse to do it. I, I, my Twitter is to talk to fans, get feedback, good, bad, whatever it is. Right. And, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not on there to sell shit to people. Right. <laughs> as the social media world keeps expanding whatever your business is or whatever it is you do you're going to find something that, that works perfectly for you and, and and that you're into and that you you know when i first got into twitter it was i'll be honest with you guys what first got me into twitter is i've always had this this love hate relationship with the media you know people would always misquote you and, and have all these you know, I, I, I battled a lot with the media earlier, and I was like, wait a minute. So you're telling me there's this new thing out where I can talk directly to the fans, yeah. and, and, you know, and I don't have to be misquoted, and, right. and if I am, and believe me, I don't know, many, many maybe seen it, I've had, I've had big fights with ESPN, I've had fights, I mean, I've fought with everybody, and, and you can, you actually have a voice now on Twitter, and, 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 and if you're misquoted or something's done the wrong way, you can call them out, and now, ESPN, Forbes, I don't care who it is. No, we don't do now that. you got to come out and defend yourself. Because yeah. I'm saying you're lying and what you did was dirty. And, and now you got, now you got to come out and defend yourself. I think it's great. Yeah, I, I love it, man. Yeah. It's awesome. I love social media. It's the best. <laughs> Seriously. But, but my point was, whatever your business is, you will find one of these social media. And, and as it keeps growing and, and, and getting bigger, you'll find something that works for you. And, uh, and, and helps you build your brand or your business or your blogs or whatever it is you're, 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 uh, you're offering.